Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Fusia, I don't know, Asian Inspirations Pork Egg Rolls. This is pork, crisp vegetables, and spices in an egg roll wrapper includes sweet and sour sauce. Um, there are four egg rolls in the box. We bought these at Aldi. It was $2.39 for four egg rolls. I don't think that's too off the bed. The whole package is 12.55 ounces or 356 grams. So there's what it looks like. So... It's 180 calories per egg roll with one and a half teaspoons of sauce. So that's how many calories you're getting. Um, there's your other info for you. Not a lot there, but there you go. So you can bake these if you want to. Of course, we don't do no ovens. We definitely don't do no frying. So there's the frying instructions. But if you want to fry them, it's probably the best way to eat them. But the frying directions are there. Of course, we're going to do the microwave. So we're going to remove the plastic wrap, uh, plastic film, and sauce packet. Um, Place the egg rolls on a microwave plate. Heat one frozen egg roll on high for one minute and you add 45 seconds for each additional egg roll. And of course it says at the bottom, you have to adjust temperatures for your microwave. And then let set for one minute uh, after cooking. Doesn't say anything about the sauce packet, like putting it in hot water or anything, but um, I don't know. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna do two of them since you got two packages of sauce. Yeah. Let me get a plate out here. So I'm going to, yeah, I know you don't heat the sauce up, but you might want to put it in some hot water. So I'm going to get this in the microwave for a minute and 45 seconds and pull, I'll probably cut these sauce packages apart and uh, put them in some warm water just so they'll thaw out a little bit. They're, they're thick. So it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't say that, but well, maybe it does on the, on the oven directions and stuff. No, it doesn't say on anything about any of the sauce. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in hot water. So anyway, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here they are out of the microwave. I just cut them in half so I can show you the pork and the vegetables in there. This one has a little more green in it. So, and this is the sauce. I heated up in the liquid, in the hot water. They did soften up a bit. So I would recommend doing that. Even though it doesn't say to do that, I would recommend doing that. I'm just going to take it and snip the corner off and just squirt some on the on it when I ready to try it out. So anyway, I'm gonna get this over the table and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I can tell you, just for me cutting it and holding it, um, it's not as crispy as it would have been if you'd done it in the oven and definitely not as crispy as it would have been if you'd fried it. Um, we have had egg rolls before in the past just to eat for dinner. And um, years ago, and we like to fry them because they, they taste the best and they're good and greasy and fried. But um, microwave is not bad. Just know that they're, they're, gonna, be a, they're gonna be a softer, um, texture on the outside. So I'm just going to take some sweet and sour sauce and put it on the end. I like the taste of the sauce. That's good. It, the fillings are good and firm. And the outside is a little soft. It's okay without the sauce. You do get the pork. You can taste the vegetables in there. You taste the uh, the the egg roll itself, the outside part. Um, you can taste it. Does kind of taste like a fried um, dough of some kind. But where it really shines is when you put the sauce on there. You get the flavor of like a sweet pepper almost. Um, so it adds a lot to the flavor. I think these are good. They're not like the best thing ever. I do think if you're going to have these, if you're going to have a lunch at work, of course you're only going to have a microwave. You're not going to have a deep fryer for sure. And you probably don't have access to an oven. Now, if you had an air fryer at work, that'd be a novel idea. Now again, air fryer at work, you could crisp up pretty decent in an air fryer if you wanted to, but a uh, microwave don't work. It's okay. Just know that the, the outside is not going to be really firm. And the uh, I'm noticing now that I'm picking them up, the bottom is really, really soggy and the top is, is drier. You may want to flip them over like halfway through or move them around on the plate like halfway through the cooking time. So I did two, for, so it was 145. Maybe that last minute, flip it over and then let it sit for another minute and let it microwave. That might uh, help uh, keep the bottom from being really soggy. But I think they're really good. Like I said, they're not, they're not the best thing ever, but they are really good, good quality. The amount of meat and uh, filling you get in these is pretty good. So I'm going to give them, 
I'm gonna give them a four out of five. I do think four is fair because it does have a quite a bit of flavor and the sweet and sour sauce is really, really good. And the price is not bad either. Uh, we did get these at Aldi, so it's kind of hit and miss at Aldi. Sometimes you'll see things at Aldi, never see them again. I don't know if Aldi still has these around. They probably have yours, maybe they don't. Who knows? You just never know with Aldi. So if you see them, I think you're safe to try them out if you like an egg roll. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.